how much you talk when you're dead. Huh. You know, I, I actually don't know how to kill you. I'm not really sure what to do. Would you, would you mind just hopping right into that sludge and killing yourself for me? Maybe I could just wait it out and you'll die of old age. That'll be fun. That way we can talk the whole time. Oh shit, time to fight. because he was so damn annoying. He's lonely, he's bitter, and get a life, he need a life, and he needed a life, man. Freedom, baby! I already felt free when you saved me from Krubus, but now that we're out of the pit, I really feel free. Again, Jesus. Hey, look who's back. You think I'm supposed to be impressed that you killed a G3 officer? You, well, okay, yeah, fine. I am. I think it's pretty insane you didn't die. That's all you're getting out of me. Now, turn that bounty in. Yeah, and who's that green fella you got there? What's up? I'm Gus. It's good to meet you. Hey, you gonna turn in that bounty or just loiter in my living room? You, sorry, your living room. For now. Cool, 
Well, you got yourself another talking gun? And this one's green? Wow, who cares? No one. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. Be rude. My name is Gus, not that it matters to you. There we go. Look at you. You're getting the hang of this bounty hunter thing already. How'd the mission go? They killed a G3. Looks like I taught them well. Wow, really? Whoa, okay. Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> I was, I was always hoping you'd find your calling. I just I didn't think it would be bounty hunting. But then again, I don't know what I thought it would be. Maybe hairstyling and not good at it. And what's wrong with bounty hunting? Ugh, can you please tell this dried up sack of shit to go home? I don't want to share a couch with him. Tough titties, Leslie. You're kidding me had a deal. It's Lizzie! And that's not my kid. Jesus, we're siblings. Sorry, I don't know how your species works yet. Sibling, fine, got it. Doesn't change a thing. I live here now. Come on, can't he find his own place to stay? Hey, that's not right. I'm barely taking up any space. You know we had a deal, fair and square. Oh, come on! We barely know this guy. You're really gonna side with him over your own sister? Hey, you should be proud. You raised your child to have proper respect for a good, fair business deal. Oh, now I know you're doing this on purpose. I'm the sister, not the mom. But you knew that, didn't you? Sorry. My bad. You come waltzing back in here stinking like dirty Flimborg. Of course I'm gonna get distracted. You shouldn't be hanging out with that Flimborg boy, you know? Can't trust that species. Tweak's harmless and nice. You're being spacist, and he's not my boyfriend, yet. Trust me, Flimborgs are bad news. Come on, have my back here. Okay, yeah, you got me there. Thank you. God, I just don't think I can take much more of this guy. What, you think this is easy for me? If I'm pissing you off, at least you can leave. But my legs don't work. I'm stuck listening to your boy trouble every time I'm trying to watch my stories. I can't even get peace and quiet in my own home because there's an alien cripple jerking off on my couch 24-7. Hey, c come on. That's a high estimate. Ew, I was kidding. Yeah, me too. I was kidding. We all know I was kidding. Aren't you going to say anything? Whose side are you on anyway? Hey, uh, all right. I, I, I can see I'm being a little bit of a bother. I mean, look, I'll, I'll try to keep it down when I'm uh, watching my stories. Just don't uh, put me back on the streets. I, I really do want to help you. Fine, he can stay. But only until he finds somewhere else to go. I'm grateful. I mean it. But I've already missed half my program, so can everyone just shut the hell up? Ugh. All right, that's enough excitement for one day. You got more bounties to get to, kid. And you might want to check out the pawn shop to see what you can spend your new payout on, eh? Mm. Oof, that was tense. It's times like these I'm, I'm almost relieved I don't have any family left alive. But but not really. I, I miss them a lot. Hey, uh, just so you know, you can use the bounty 5,000 revisit. <laughs> You gotta buy something. You ever been to a store before? You know how this works, right? I'm gonna miss that. best day of your life because tomorrow it's gonna be rock bottom again hey customer you're ugly job what's wrong with you why did your mother do this to you you can't stop me from being me dad you're grounded try me i'll just listen to porn at max volume until you let me out of my room and it's not porn you like nice try that wouldn't bother me
See you soon, bounty hunter. Good luck out there. I'm gonna go explore Blim while you're out there bounty hunting. Hey, be careful out there. Humans are a valuable commodity. Someone might try to snatch you up. I can take care of myself, Jane. You better watch your step, kid. I didn't give you all this swag for free. I almost thought you were gonna leave me out to dry. Anyway, be careful out there. You can do this. Are you fucking kidding me? We had to get here when there's a goddamn sandstorm going on, bunch of fucking sand in my eyes? No, you're, you got a helmet on. No, I don't, I don't. The second we're done with this shit. Oh shit, Greebles. Look, look at them go. They eat up broken ship parts. Does it taste good? I have no idea. I'm not I'm not about to give it a taste test. Watch it! I'm telling you, full of ghosts. Oh, I think that's Old Town in the distance. You know, that was the first settlement out here, pre-G3. We gotta pass through there to get to Douglas. Yeah, the G3 don't officially run things out here, but well, unofficially. Yeah, they, 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 they run things out here and with an iron fist. Something. This place is a complete hellhole. But you know what? Once we get to the city, oh boy, still a hellhole. But hell is a lot more fun with other people around. Take it from me, you're gonna love it. <laughs> people always say that. Take it from me. without saying but the you know that green stuff is toxic and will dan will hurt you so don't go in it, into it get ready for another wave bounty hunter all right yeah this is probably a lot of fun for you but uh i've been on a, i've been on a lot of adventures and uh i can tell you firsthand that this is uh pretty all right I can see Old Town it's just across this bridge. Support beams, and, uh, you know, I'll tell you what. Support beams have their spot, but they are not... Whoa, 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 Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, look, walk wherever you want. This is hey, a fucking don't, mac don't and cheese brothers construction us. site. We ain't done here. But you gotta be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down. What the hell? 
how do you want to handle this? Maybe we just, you know, move past them. Are you them. kidding me? You think you could just walk up into a Mac and Cheese Brothers construction site like you're some sort of fucking Jesus Christ and just fucking walk around like you're in the place? There's a goddamn bottomless pit over here, asshole. You think you could survive that? Falling through a fucking bottomless pit down the bottom? I don't think so. We got what to do. Okay, dipshit, get the fuck out of here, asshole. You know? Hey, fuck you, you piece of shit. You walk in here, you're pissing me off. Me and my Mac and Cheese Brothers were pissed. You know, we're getting fucking angry. We, 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 we're hot-headed over here. We don't like this shit. We don't like when somebody walks in and stomps all over our fucking uh, garden, so to speak, metaphorically. This is our fucking garden, and you're walking all over the fucking plants we just, all uh, the seeds we just planted, you son of a bitch. You know, we're busy over here. What's your big deal, bro? Hey, what the frig? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, 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 easy, easy, easy. You fucking piece of shit. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, I can't believe this. What, 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 what hey, are we, what what do we got? Deal, you? Hey, what, what the hell are you doing? Oh, I can't believe what do we have here. What's your big deal, bro? Hey, what the frig? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 easy, easy, easy. You fucking piece of shit. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I can't believe this. What, 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 what are hey, we, what what do we got? Deal, you? Hey, what, what the hell are you doing? Oh, I can't believe what do we have here. What's your big deal, bro? Hey, what the frig? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, 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 easy, easy, easy. You fucking piece of shit. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, I can't believe this. What, 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 what are hey, we, what do we got? Deal, you? Hey, what, what the hell are you doing? Oh, I can't believe what we have here. What's your big deal, bro? Hey, what the frig? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Holy shit, those guys are intense. You know, you could have killed them, right? I would have been fine with that, I think. Fuck yeah! Here comes more! Move through this place and we'll we'll get to Douglas. Hey, you whippersnappers look howdy there, partner. Welcome to Old Town. They call me Old Wet Grundy. How can I help you? So, uh, why do they call you Old Wet Grundy? It's cause I'm old. And I piss myself every day. I'm doing it right now. You're, you're pissing yourself while you're talking to us? Oh, yeah. Big time. It's still going. Ooh, this is a good one. So, uh, well, you know, tell us. What, what, what is this place? Well, I just told you it's called Old Town. Back when settlers first landed on this asteroid, we formed a little trading post free from galactic law, where anyone could come and do as they please. Nowadays, Dragstown steals all the thunder, but for a few years there, Old Town was nothing to sneeze at. All right, so Old Town is the old town, and Dragstown is the, the, the new one? Old Town has heart. Used to serve a real purpose for the people. 
Drag Town is just a pit of debauchery and drugs. The Concern G3 Cartel. Hey, do you happen to know where we can find a, a, a guy named Douglas? Douglas? The, 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 the G3 fella? <laughs> oh, wee. He's a rough one. Never seen somebody drink as much as him. Why, just last night, uh, nope, I, I shouldn't speak out of turn. The G3 don't like that none, and I don't like them. Just head down to Drag Town. I'm sure you'll find them. And how do we get to Drag Town? It's, it's, it's been a little bit for me. Oh, that's easy. You just go through this gate, pop into Old Town, and shoot straight down the main strip. You can't miss the big Drag Town entrance. It's a real goddamn eyesore. Wish they'd get rid of it. I'll open the gate for you. Oh, well, thanks, Grundy. That's always Grundy. And of course, opening the gate's my whole job. It's why I'm here. I'm gonna have to do it for some charm and young women snubbers like you. Have a good time in there, youngest. Woohoo! That party last night was crazy! Did you see how wasted Douglas got? Hell yeah! Joining the G3 was the. Hey, look at that weirdo in the scary bounty hunter suit. Let's get him! Drag Town's past here. I just stand around and tell people that. Hey, sorry, excuse me. Is I, I just curious. Hey, I, I can't let anyone in right now. There's too many recruits causing trouble in town. I get in trouble when that happens, so I'm gonna keep the gate locked until they stop. Or get killed. Wink, wink. Are you telling us to kill them? Whoa, I didn't say that. I just said wink, wink, and okay, yeah, that's what I meant. So go kill them, and, and I'll let you through. Talk to me. You got some questions for me? H how do you like, you know, li living in Dregtown? Oh, of course. There's always a ton of cool shit to do. Uh, gambling, shows, dodging stray bullets. This month they got Zubles doing a big show on the main stage. I'm gonna go see him and ask him to marry my daughter. You only get one shot, you know. Can, can you tell us a little bit about Dregtown? Oh, it's your classic den of sin and villainy stationed on the underside of an asteroid. You know the drill. The, the G3 kind of runs things unofficially. They're just everywhere down there. They, they got a whole training facility and everything. So, you know, classic shit, like I said. I mean, do, do you like sitting here guarding this gate? Seems kind of boring. Oh, I hate it. Worst job I've ever had. All the new G3 recruits come busting in and out all day and all hours running around, shooting the place up and causing trouble. I'm always really freaked out I'm gonna get shot and die, but <laughs> hey, it's a living. So, uh, you know, I'm just just making small talk here, I guess, but wh what do you wh wh what do you do for fun? Oh, plenty. I usually go down in a drag town and get fucked up. I love doing Fergals, but I've been hearing great shit about those new humans. Uh, yeah, I've been saving up to try some out. Oh, 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 and I've been binging Space Version Frasier. Drunk recruits. You learned anything from Douglas? I'll get it this time. <laughs> Are you fucking? 
fucking serious right now? Mysterious feeling that there's probably some more G3 causing trouble, you know, somewhere around town. We, we should, we should maybe de deal with it. Quite a team we are. Anyways, uh, l l l l let's uh, let's poke our way into Dregtown now. Let's go to Dregtown. Thank you so much for saving me. Oh my God, thank you. Uh, but you know what? I kinda, I'm kinda thinking I would have fucked him. So now I, I don't know. I'm gonna go think about that. See you later. times I've told the recruits, very rude of you to just breeze past me like that, but I get it, I'm just a gay guard, who cares about me? Town. It's way cooler than Old Town. I, old Town's a boring dust bucket, I'll tell you that much. I hate Old Town. I just stand around here telling people how much Old Town sucks. That's what I do. That's my, that's my cool, that's what I, that gets my, well ain't you in a rush, bye. Hey, have, have fun in Dregtown. Be careful, a uh, lot of G3 guys down there, and they're a bit trigger-happy. 
The G3 really spruced up Dregtown. You can get anything you want down there. Drugs? Sure. Sex? Yep. Those are the only two things I could think of. Oh wait, laptops. You can get laptops, I bet. Drugs, sex, and laptops? That's Dregtown, baby. G3 Cartel! My name's Douglas, the G3 Chief of Training and Torture. Ignore that second bit for this ad, this was just about the training. Well, goddamn, that, there, there's Douglas right there. Uh, that's how you know we're in the right spot. G3 run city looks like. So, like I was saying, my brother told me Douglas is really into torture. Like, sexually? Does it matter? Yes, to me, it needs to be sexual. Why are you telling me this? I barely know you. Oh, my bad. Yeah, just sort of spilled out. Well, now you know. Do with it what you will. Like, there's another batch of new recruits every damn day. Like, they must run through these guys like I run through a sleeve of Oreo. You were all at the party last night, right? Douglas was fucked up. Oh, yeah. That guy was pounding the back like a full-grown Screbulon. Damn, can you believe they built all this on the bottom of an asteroid? I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's a good place to hide out. I mean, but yeah. Oh, they convinced me. Let's join the G3. Hello, dear, my child. I'm from a sweet little organization called Mothers for Violence. And you're about to enter a sector under our jurisdiction. That's right. There's Mothers Against Violence, and then there's us. Mothers for Violence. We're a little bit... Watch your step! Carpet everywhere. Uncle Phillips, and I support mothers for violence. I support all the mothers. I don't stand for anything. I lack conviction. I let these mummies just... Oh, you need my help. Oh. And I do whatever they ask. Oh, get on me. What you get? Don't forget, I can shoot this. Uh oh, <laughs> it looks like the G3 are having some grievel trouble.
doesn't do anything for me. I'm getting tired of killing you fuckers. G3 training facility. Maybe Douglas does the training in person. Okay, listen. Okay, let's let's try to get inside. He's about to torture. Sorry, G3 recruits only. No yellow goop armor, no entry. Beat it. God damn it. Okay, we're gonna need to find some way to get in. If you get gooped, I can let you in. You need that protection. The training exercises can be a little dangerous. Sneak. Hey, hey there. Thanks for coming over here. I'm the goop guy around these parts. You wanna sneak in the G3 facilities? You gotta get covered in goop. That's just how it goes. My stuff's quality. So you, you, you want some goop, right? Uh, you know what? Yes! How about how about a big fat yes? Let's go. Perfect. Head down the alley there and just, uh, let the magic happen. I guess. Uh, don't, don't worry. First goop's on me. Just tell all your buddies about it. I'm the goop guy. I do goop stuff. Oof! Oh my god! Oh gee! Oh my god! Not not what I was thinking it would be. Oh! Oh! This fucking! Oh my god! The 
the smell! Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking throw up! Okay, okay, I'm alright, okay. Oh hey, my... look at you, you're all gooped up. I gotta be honest, it won't last long, it's not the real stuff, so you better be quick. Get in, get out, don't stay in there too long, don't lollygag, cause this stuff's gonna fall off. That's the goop guy promise, that's the guarantee. You're 18, right, by the way? Okay, thank you! Let's just go, let's just go! Oh, look at us go! Oh, looky here. We got another gooped up G3 recruit. Be advised that the G3 cartel is not responsible for any life-threatening injuries you may incur on these premises. But even if we were, we wouldn't give a shit. Who cares? I hope you get shot. Good luck. Uh, thanks. Are you fucking kidding me? They have some whole thing prepared? Shut the fuck up, it's starting! Welcome, welcome, welcome! I'm sure you already know who I am, but for anyone living under a rock, I'm Douglas, G3 Chief of Training and Torture. And wouldn't you know it, I like to blur those lines a little. Training? Torture? What's the difference, I say? I look to your left, difference. now look to your right. Both of those people are gonna die today. You are about to jump right into an accurate warp-based simulation of what it'll look like to be on the real battlefield. And let me tell you, you're probably gonna die. But hey, if you don't, you get to join the G3, big whoop. All right, that's it. Lock and load, fuckers. Oh my god, is All that... All right, shut you it saw off. that, right? I got torture that was a Gatlian. Do. Douglas has a Gatlian. We, we, we gotta rescue her. Jesus, these fucking Merkeloids. Oh, fuck, here we go. I, I, here we shit, go. I hope it's not too difficult. Buddy, I guess we're all done. Oh, okay. You beat all the weak guys. Easy. Really easy. Now go do the obstacle course. Oh, okay. Okay, you know what? It looks like some simple platforming. You know, like what you'd see in, like, Lucky's Tale. On, uh, you know, or, um... You know, that one, uh, that one game that we, that we all know and love. Mario Land, or whatever. Shit, this must be the beginner course. Come on. I'm slipping! I'm slipping! I'm slipping! I'm slipping! Ah! Really? You got hurt? You know, that, that looked like it should have been easy. Oh god, uh, <laughs> I have a pacemaker. One zap would kill me. You go on ahead. You know, thinking maybe I should just go be a CPA instead. That 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 that, that would be a safer life. Okay, l let's just get this over with, please. Stop messing up. Whew, fucking get that fucking jump. God damn, that was a little that, that we we made it. That was a little tough though. Congratulations, shitheads. So you made it past the first training exercise. Big deal. That one was easy. We lied and said it was hard to scare you. Oh, it's fun to freak you out, to fuck with your heads. Now get ready for exercise two. It starts in one hour. 
That's right, you have to wait a full hour. We're testing your resolve. So just stand there patiently and wait. Then this door will open and you can continue. Uh, okay, there's no way we're waiting a full hour. Seriously, for fuck's sake, don't make us wait a whole hour. Okay, thank God. Okay, let, let's ditch this whole recruiting bullshit thing. for very long oh my god hello thank god you're here my name's dr jupy douglas kidnapped my whole family and i'm trying to sneak in and save them but i just can't get through these pipes in the next room oh my god i'm freaking out hey whoa, whoa, l l listen little guy we're trying to find douglas too you know maybe we can help each other god i'm so worried i'm gonna to throw up you really helped me oh gee i'm i'm so grateful follow me you gotta connect these pipes for me so i can get through and save my family hey don't worry this is a classic textbook puzzle situation i think me and my bounty hunter partner can figure this one out don't even worry I'm forever in your debt. I don't know how I can ever repay you. God, my poor family, my children, my kids, Swoopy and Froopy. I'm gonna get to see them soon. Hey, you're really gonna do it. I bet you're gonna solve this puzzle in no time. My daughter, Swoopy, is so much stronger and smarter than my son, Froopy, but they're both wonderful in their own ways. Froopy is much better at hugging. Oh, Swoopy's no slouch either. I can't wait to hug them both again. The day I married my wife, Plimmy, was the happiest day of my life. I used to dream about kissing her. I still do. Our race isn't allowed to kiss until we've been married for 50 years. Only 40 more to go. Oh, if I can... Wow! You did it! You got the door open! Listen, I'll never forget this. You're my personal hero. Oh, come on. You're too you're too kind. It, it was easy. Oh, did you say you're heading to find Douglas too? His office is that big building up on top of Dregtown. Uh, there's a zip line just past here that'll take you right to him. Huh. Well, all right then. I I, I hope the guy gets his family back. Done, we finished this shit. We are fully out. Oh, fuck. <sighs> okay, w w what is this? Congratulations to all of you worms who made it this far in your training. It is now time for the final test a bloody free for all. Last one standing gets to join the G3. No rules, just killing. Good luck, shit heels. God damn it, another fucking thing with the. Holy shit, just kill them all! I have more Power sliding! Yeah, good job. Congratulations, recruit. Now, uh, I don't know, fight some more guys. Come Alright, fine, they can send as many as they want. Who cares? Yourself, 
overkill.
G3 recruit. We 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 could be in the G3 if we wanted to be. Woo! We could be if we wanted to. Congratulations, graduates, on joining the G3 or whatever. I really can't stress enough how little I give a shit. Now report to your commanding officer and we'll send you off to die fighting for us on whatever dumbass planet we decide. See ya. to see you. I'm so happy we keep running into each other. Oh, look who it's our old buddy. It's our old friend, Dr. Jupy. What are you talking about? How, wh how's it going? Uh, there's another locked door. I'm running out of time. God, I'm so worried about my kids. And a little bit about my wife, but mostly my kids. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Oh, my poor kids. I hope Douglas doesn't kill them. I can feel my wife Plimmy calling for me. Again. Am I glad to see you? I'm so happy we keep running into each other. Oh, look who it's our old buddy. It's our old friend, Dr. Jupy. What are you talking about? How, wh how's it going? Uh, there's another locked door. I'm running out of time. God, I'm so worried about my kids. And a little bit about my wife, but mostly my kids. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Oh, my poor kids. I hope Douglas doesn't kill them. I can feel my wife Plimmy calling for me. Oh, Plimmy and the kids are probably so scared without me. I hope Douglas isn't torturing them right now. Swoopy and Froopy would really like you to. I can't wait to introduce them to you and Maybe tell them about ready? everything you did for me. They need good, strong role models. I don't want to rush you, but I'm getting nervous. You're gonna solve this one too. Thank you. Is this one a little harder than the last one? I'd love to help, but these tentacles are too slippery. How can I repay you? How should I pay you? Uh, how tips for helping solve the puzzle? 15%? 20? Do all the puzzle solvers pool their tips and then you guys split it up later at the end of the night? Or is there some kind of a puzzle solvers union? I helped a little bit, so maybe I'll just tip 10%.
Amazing! Look how weak and, and cute Dr. Jupy is! Forget about it! been designated as a mother's war and against violent zone. That means there's probably just going to be a lot of violence. An intruder has infiltrated the G3 recruitment program, and there will be lots of violence here until we find and kill them. And remember... Huh, I guess they're talking about us. Remember, I'm still here, and I support any and all mothers out there. I'll believe whatever cause they ask me to believe in. Hot mothers, not hot mothers, I love mothers! You know what? That looks like Douglas's office, but we can't get in that way. Maybe we can go around back. Yes! You're halfway there! Keep going, you can do it! Oh, I can't wait to see my little flimmy, proppy, and droopy. stupid right about now he was fucking with us we got played look at us we got played we fell for it damn it Finally need me again, huh?
ink fur. See it, Parkman's! I am just ready, ready, Hunter! You should have saved Dr. Jupe. We loved him. You, sh you should have quit being Douglas and live the rest of your life with that guy. trying to get me all excited and withhold the big climax? I need to come. It's bad for my health. Let me chop him up now. Ah, fuck yeah, that's definitely the stuff. Oh, now that felt good. We had some very nice, choppable flesh, actually. It was actually very nice. Oh, ha! All right, dipshit, let's go. What? No hello? Nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like you not dying there with some sort of favor to me? Hi, I'm sweet. Thank you so much for rescuing me. How's that, dipshit? Now come on, use my time bubble to escape through the big fan in the corner. Hey, if you want to slow down, Dark, it'd be cool, right? You're gonna find out real fast that I'm the best Gatlian, smartest, most useful, best looking. No, no, come on, come on, I'm pretty good. Douglas, it's Garmantuous. Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself at that party last night. Not good, Douglas. Not good. I'm gonna need you on top of your game now that we've got a hold of these humans. We're spread thin over on Earth, and I need more troops immediately. Not to mention things are gonna start heating up all over the galaxy as demand goes up. Big things are happening, Douglas. Get excited and get your fucking shit together. Okay, yeah, fuck that. No 
idea what hit him. Oh, now we gotta get across, huh? Hey, you wanna see what else this time bubble can do? Jeez, do I gotta spell it out for ya? Try slowing down one of the ships, then we can use it to hop across. Great! Perfect! Now hurry and cross before it wears off! Incredible, right? What a thrill. You know, you can use that time bubble on the G3, too. And try loading the bubble up with my pistol. Then you'll see why I'm the best Gatlian. <sighs> We're gonna make a good team. I can feel it. Just listen to everything I say and never use the other Gatlian. Oh, Cha-ching, motherfucker! Kid, another one down, huh? Great work. <laughs> but uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you turn in your bounty. All right, good. Get over here. Check this out. Hello, Blim City citizens. That's Clug Nugman, Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch this next bit. It's all about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Holy shit, should we go see him? I already told him you go. What? No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. Sorry for making the call without you, but uh, Clug's a good man. I say we hear him out. Come on. You know how hard it is to get a meeting with the Magistrate? Don't keep him waiting. Hey, where the hell are you going? Go talk to Clug! Jesus! Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. No problem. It's, 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 it's nice to meet you, sir. Look. I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Well, we're, we're, we're Gatlians, but, uh... Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? But, but you're a big-name politician, and we're out there, you know, killing people. Like, wouldn't that look bad? That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you... You've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me. But 
there's also one way I can help you. Okay, we're, we're listening. This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. Wow, that, that, that's really helpful. You're just giving it to us? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. We absolutely do. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Thank you so much, Mr. Nugman. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Uh, feel free to stay as long as you'd like. All right, we're back. So, it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yeah, not only that, he gave us a way to save humans. God damn. You got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Bordo's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. concessions guy i like to sell you and here's what's up my name's stan and i sell vials of alien cum i know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here you wanted cum or what why are you here selling alien cum is there seriously an actual market for that i consider it policy not to ask my clients why they want the gallons and gallons of alien cum they buy from me i figure the less questions i ask about what people are doing with all this alien cum the better so, are you buying or nay? Wait, hold, hold, hold the phone. What the fuck? You sell alien cum? I know, it's gross, but calm down. My name is Stan, and I sell horrendous amounts of all sorts of alien cum. And we're just gonna have to live with that knowledge together now. Did we look like people that would want to buy alien cum? Sure. Look. I have absolutely no idea. I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum from me. But they do it all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've been completely unable to narrow it down to a set of demographic. Grannies, cops, movie stars, politicians, everybody likes my delicious alien cum. I've had every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no, sir, it truly does not. I just want some alien cum. No further details needed. So what, what's it going to be? You want some alien cum or not? All right, uh, listen, we thought it over, and we'll take some alien cum. Whoa, look at you. You want some alien cum. I'm so glad you're interested. Look, you caught me on a good day. I'm doing a promo one time off for free alien cum. Take some on the house, and if you like it, just come back and get some more. 
Just tell all your friends about me. Say Stan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien, but I'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of Blam City selling alien cum to the community. Say all of that. Hey, you got any uh, jetpacks in stock? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Okay, great. So where where's the jetpack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Fuck! God damn it. Okay, well let's let's just give Gene the update. See you soon, bounty hunter. If you touch me again, I'll eat your head. What? You just like spending time with us? So, uh, how's that mother of yours, George? She sucks. Come on now, that's no way to talk about the shweeb who birthed you. Yeah, right, and it's fun for me to say mean things. It gives me a little thrill. Every time I even think that I'd hate my mom, I get this insane burst of adrenaline. I don't know what it is. Maybe this is just what being a teenager is like. This is some rebellious puberty shit, I bet. Check this out. My mom smells like shit. Okay, you can't tell, but I just got an insane dopamine rush right now. Is it a sexual thrill? God, I hope not. But it might be. It really genuinely might be it. I'm gonna choose not to self-reflect on that any further. My mom stinks like shit. Fuck! I could do this all day of practically vibrating. I guess I just don't understand kids these days. Well, that was a waste of time in life. to go. Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. So this is your bedroom, huh? 
It's fu- Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry. I'm, I, I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. Let, let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack pro. Hey, hey, listen here. I want you to meet my son. Hey, son, come out here. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I want you to meet. Uh, I want you to meet him. He's uh, looking for a wife. Yeah, I really need a wife. Yeah, so he's five foot two. Mm -hmm. Five hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. Wears diapers. Mm -hmm. And he's ready to marry. I'm ready to marry right now. Okay. It's been a long time since I've done anything with anyone, and I really want someone. Okay, that's it. See you guys. Bye. Oh fuck, we forgot to oh, get wait. contact. Is there a number? Oh, oh no. Uh, no. Uh, but we didn't get. Uh, no, we're good. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Bye. I'm home. Oh. Oh, wonderful. You're home. I've been. W I look at the dinner's cold. I prepared for us. Where were you? I was just doing smuffle guffins. You know, smuffle gu like just regular old plain smuffle guffins. You knew this. I don't think I could stay married to somebody who just blatantly does smuffle guffins. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I am a smuffle guffin from life to death. I will be a smuffle guffin person all the time. Nice. Whoops! Uh, maybe let's try that again? Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene, like you've even ever been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fuck more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. I'm so sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Well, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, right, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great. Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's it's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, look, 
We've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? <laughs> no, sorry. But I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this tweed guy pregnant. And then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Twig! How are you? Come on, Hi. tell Jean I can date whoever I want. No, I haven't. Hmm. How about my mom? No, she hasn't been Thank in. you! Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Jean, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Hey, are we cool? You were kind of coming at me pretty hard during that argument. And just remember, like, we're siblings, right? And you're all I've got left right now. And Jean's a piece of shit. And Jill came tumbling after carrying... Oh, hey, another girl on the team. Good. Actually, I mean it. I'm not being snarky. That's so nice to see. Yeah, yeah, don't get too excited. We're not even the same species. <laughs> Okay, sorry we roped you into another argument. I want you to meet Twig, by the way. I really think you'd like him. He's really nice to me and, well, he's helping me feel a little more normal. Even though his body doesn't make any fucking sense to me and he keeps trying to take me to restaurants that don't serve anything edible to humans, but... No, he's really sweet. So don't worry about me. You can focus on killing the space mafia or whatever. Service out of Mayo, Wisconsin, of course, conducting the auction out here for the Gleason State Bank as a secured party here on the Roy Anderson property. Yeah, you know, I appreciate you having my back, but uh, maybe your sister's right. Or not. What do I care? Team Jean, baby! All things are being sold here today without reservation. All by the secured party. A moplet! It's you, the savior! Oh, uh, yeah, 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 that's us. Uh, where is everyone? Oh, uh, it was awful. Everyone else got enslaved again, if you can believe it. Honestly, I think they like being enslaved. Oh, shit. Okay, well, no guarantees we're gonna save them again, but wh wh where are they? They're working at Screndel Labs now, just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful. That place is freaky. Thanks! How's it going?
That's where you saved me, in that big hole. Now, you know I appreciate that, right? I got to buy you something nice for your birthday or whatever. You like a toilet bowl cleaner?
you know? I keep the shopping cart. Paper, plastic, both, please. Oh. Go shut that up a good. Hello, interested in making a purchase today? Now that I get to work here and have the easy job, all the other mob puts hate me. Oh my god, it's like I am not a popular. <laughs> yeah, because it's it's easy. It's a oh, come on, don't you want to at least donate a few pesos to Krubus's birthday party fund? He loves parties, he's gonna kill us if he doesn't have a party. Hey there! I'm the quartermaster around here. Wanna buy something? How's it going?
Time to put that jetpack to good use. Nice, we're really flying, huh? Really cool stuff, bounty hunter, like we're flying. Okay, this definitely must be the right way because you know we 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 uh we we haven't gone this way yet, you know. What's the plan?
your drone for? Just come in? Sorry, I'm in the john. Oh, hold on, don't, don't pass through here. I've got to make you time to warm. Just one sec. Don't forget, you know, you, you can use those to launch yourself. Just 
keep coming! Zipline to cross? Scrandal Labs is like I mean, I, I mean like I, I I know a little bit I mean I I, I heard a bit so so I kind of know but I, I'm just making small talk right now you know I'm just trying to I'm just trying to fill the dead air it's really uncomfortable I mean don't get mad at me if what I'm saying isn't that interesting because you know I'm, I'm doing my best here you know Hello, and welcome to Scranda Labs. Only authorized personnel are allowed beyond this point. You gotta be kidding me, it's fucking oh, you're the bounty hunter who helped us out with all that paperwork and killed my boss, Krubus. <laughs> we really appreciated that. But, sorry, I need to let the G3 know that you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. You're, uh, gonna set off the alarm. Yep, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3 are coming for you. Sorry, it's my job. And I don't care about you. Oh shit, here they come. You know, hey, at least the elevators are working now. Good 
work clearing them out. Now let's poke around and see what kind of weird experiments they're doing in here. That's right, you need old Kenny. Would you like to do the honors? We're going to try to show up those cocky nerds in the weapons lab by fusing this human with some other aliens. Just hit the button. Uh, no, you, you know, I, I don't think we're qualified to, to, to make that decision. Look, I can do it myself if you don't want to. I'm just trying to be nice. to happen. They died! What the fuck are you doing? Why, why'd you press the button, bounty hunter? Stop trying to kill everyone! Jesus! here really needs to get their shit together. What a mess. Hello, Johnson. It's Dr. Gurgula. I've been asked to send you some of my findings on the human gene. It's only a small portion, and I doubt you'll even be able to comprehend what you're looking at. But I promised Garmantua as I'd provide them. And now please don't contact me again. I'm busy. This Dr. Gurgler guy creeps me out. Oh God, are those Gatlians? I think I'm gonna be sick. Wait, I think that one's alive. The bad guys did experiments on me and fucked me up real bad in basically every way you can imagine. Holy shit, am I glad to see another cat Leon alive in here? Uh, are there any others? Oh my god, yes! There's so many! Oh, but unless you've been alive, then no. These fucking G3 bastards! Creature, we're taking on the cartel. You want in? Oh, no, no, no. They take good care of me. Holding me against my will, cutting me open, doing experiments on me. Okay, you know what? Say it out loud. I think they might actually be bad. I'm part of your team now. Hell yeah. Welcome aboard, uh, creature. That, 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 that's your name? I guess so. Oh, hey, we're locked in. But that's fine. Don't freak out or anything. I can give birth to a bunch of little freaks and they can disable the door lock. It's fine. Oh yeah, that's one of my children. They die fast. Don't worry, it's easy to make. Ah, beautiful. Look how one of my little fuckers just saved us. Being a dad is the best feeling in the world. Then a few seconds later, when your mutant kid dies because it has a microscopic lifespan, that's not so good of a feeling, actually, but I'm numb to it. Uh, I'm oh, yeah, that's one that's of that my choices. They die fast. Don't worry. It's easy to make more, and it feels good. God, I love them so much. They grow up so fast, then they die. It's pretty rough being a dad. Do not recommend it. I 
I've had so many kids, and I'm gonna have so many more! Let's do it! to my arm, and that's gonna be permanent, is that right? Cause I'm obviously down to do it. Fight too. Let me help. You and me, we got this. safe behind this glass. Oh! Use one of my kids to fuck with that guy's mind. He'll go into a frenzy. Did I tell you they can do that? Oh, oh! And if you keep piling my kids on top of a guy, they can do mind control shit. They can make a bad guy fight for us. Oh, shit. That mind control thing doesn't last very long. Sorry about that. I keep yelling at my kids to make it last longer, but they're shitheads. They do not listen. I'm back. Okay, where are we now? Back outside? Oh, I can help you with that little hook bug hive. Shoot my little guys in there. Hi there. Ow. Ow. The G3 doesn't stand a chance. Hey, I'm ready to give birth whenever. Look at my little guy in there rustling up the hive. Isn't that cute? I'm so proud of him. Killed me. I'll freak out so bad if that hits us.
Fox doesn't do anything for me. to save those humans? Help us, please. Hi there. Do you have a way to rescue these humans? I'm new, so I don't know everything yet.
you motherfuckers are there! Creature, G get us in there. Sweezy's ready for blood. That's Angela Screndel. Wanna kill him? Oh, fuck. The bounty hunt is here. Oh, Angela's leaving. I guess he's busy. Oh! those creeps. Hey, you're using me again. Thanks so much. Look who just stepped up in the place. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Back to the grind. Whoa, 
whoa, whoa, whoa, what are you watching in there? Uh, I guess it's supposed to be porn, but it's like alien porn, so I, I don't know. I, I honestly have no idea what I'm watching. I mean, I was able to get off to it, like, after a while. Um, honestly, now I love it, though. Uh, not sure why they want me to jack off this much, but, you know, I'm happy to do it. Like, all the tentacles and the moving parts, it's, I don't know, there's something really endearing about it. Yeah, I, I like it a lot, actually. I mean, if, if I ever get out of here, I, I hope I can, like, bring this with me, at least. I mean, I, I don't even think I could go back to normal porn after this. All right. Sweezy's always the right choice. What is this? What is this? Why is this in here? I'm trying to jack off. This is really distracting to me, but I'll still be able to do it. Trust me, I I've been through a lot. Wednesday special. I'm going to head 
Alright, I'm gonna clobber him! Again. I gotta be honest, I'd rather be swimming in a bucket of piss over this toxic shit. It's funny falling into acid? Go down the clown, man. need no introduction. Here I am. Hey, how's it going? Oh great, yeah, let's go into the toxic shit.
I'm ready for whatever's clever. I'm nice and loose.
biology. Always, uh, it's just, it's just fucked. It's just fucked, really. Now let me dig into the last bro. Oh fuck yes, three in one sitting. Each one more visually better than the last. You know what, I don't see this often, but I'm fully sated right now. I actually need a rest. You there, bounty hunter. Armantuous? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> How fucked you made things for yourself. You were living in heaven before you meddled with the G3. Keep talking, <laughs> shithead. Bounty hunter. I've got the two most important people in your life, and I'm going to kill them. <laughs> oh, but not right away. First, I'll make things miserable for them. They're going to suffer as much as you've made me suffer. Fuck you. I'm not going to ask you to stop. I doubt you'd listen. I'd just like to inform you that I'm going to make sure you die. And that it's going to hurt. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Besides, you won't even be able to get to my new base on Earth without the proper coordinates. So just sit tight until I come to kill you myself. Like that was supposed to face us? Alright, well, you know, we never did figure out, you know, who's the boss uh, uh, of those guys, but, you know, let's pack it in and, and head home. Ah, you killed the Skrendel brothers and freed us again. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone else is too traumatized to talk right now. Sorry. We just keep getting captured over and over again, you know? It's a lot to take in. I'm still able to talk because I've been captured the most. I'm just kind of numb to it now. Means nothing to me anymore. You're really on fire, aren't you? Obviously, you're not as good at bounty hunting as I used to be, but hey... I'm gloppy enough to admit you're doing pretty damn well. Turn in that bounty. Yeah. I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean... My name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Frendelos. Oh, hey, I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg, you need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my Frendelos and tongue kiss your sister? One who bought those fucking friendalos and leave Tweeg alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Tweeg. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Tweeg, you gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. Thank you. I appreciate it. But honestly, it's my house too. So I don't even know why I have to fight for this. I'm just so pissed at everyone. Aww. Not you, Tweeg. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Gene. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey, 
Your family's doing a great job. You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. All right, come on. Don't make it sound so sad. Look, I admit I wasn't in a good place when you found me, but I feel like I'm part of your family now. I'm basically your dad now. You too, Lizzie. I'm your dad. I'm just worried about you dating this weird freak who just wants to steal my couch away from me. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Tweeg. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Tweeg. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned! You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Tweeg moving in, right? Hell yeah! That's the right call! Twig's a creep! You think I'm a creep? You are a creep. Everybody better stop calling my boyfriend a creep. Effective immediately. You know, I just didn't realize I was a creep. Ugh, that's enough of this. Twig, let's go to the park. To... <laughs> to... to kiss? <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. Okay. You uh you seen Merv?